Back at it again. It's the Bearded Bros Golf Show. I'm Rod. And I'm Marcus. Let's talk about DFW, our our home. You know, we're natives of Dallas um, and how it has become um, a mecca of golf, you know, pros. I think it's been that case. I was looking up some articles. I saw one from D Magazine all the way back to 2007, and they were saying what Whoa. pros live near you. So this has kind of been a silent trend for a while. And of course, you always hear about Florida being a, um, a hub for a lot of PGA Tour pros just because of the mm-hmm. weather pretty much year round. You're not going to have, you know, too many freezes going on in Florida. Um, Georgia seems to be a big, you know, place where people live as well. Sea Island is, is, is a bit of a, a mecca as well. But yeah. Dallas has really staked its claim, you know, one with, um, you know, high level courses. There's some really good country clubs here, um, you know, with high quality golf. Guys that have come from DFW or, you know, when you look at, think about Jordan Spieth, more recently, Scott Addy Scheffler, you know, mm-hmm. being from the Dallas area and both, you know, residing here. I even think back um, a few years ago, God, I'm thinking I, the name just blanked. The guy who was doing well ended up losing his swing and shanking it. I'm totally blanking on him right now. Um, he was part of the golf boys and it'll come to me later on, but it's been a spot. And when you think uh, about Hunter Mayhan, board, you got to hit it in the hole. Now. Hunter Mayhan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, you know, he was a long-term resident of Dallas. And so yep. think about DFW airport and kind of being in central. That's, that's the draw. Um, yep. we love DFW, you know, from your own perspective, what, if you were a tour pro, why would you reside in Dallas besides it being your, your hometown yeah i mean it's it's literally just what you said i mean i feel like me and you when we when i'm in town and we get a chance to to hit it around a few times i feel like we get a chance to play every kind of golf that we want to play we could play tree line we can play open we can play you know link style golf we could play exclusive we could play you know like some public stuff it's all right there for you and then you go 30 minutes from the house and the international airport is right there. So if I need to fly over and play, um, you know, some level event over in Europe or something, I'm right there. And I don't even have to, like, I can just catch an Uber or something like that. Or, I and mean. It's direct flights. Direct flights. And it's central the time. You're, you're in the middle of everything. It's not like you're too far ahead, too far behind. I mean, you're just, you're centrally located to everything. It's literally right in the middle of the breadbasket. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's, that's in itself is right there, the clutch part. I mean, you can just, yeah. it's, it, no flight is too far. I feel like, I mean, like, it, Cal- you fly to Cali. California is a few hours. Exactly. exactly. Florida's it's, three it's hours. Right and New York's three and a half. It's all pretty central, right? Exactly. Exactly. Um, so I think it's it's in the weather. I mean, honestly, I get it. Florida's warm and green all year. But when mm-hmm. you think about DFW, um, the last couple of years, I don't think I've stopped playing golf. Even when it comes right. to December and even January, there's going to be days mixed in there within the month where you can go get around in. That's exactly. just part of it. I mean, it's, it's where it is, where golf courses – are in pretty decent shape. All things considered with the Bermuda going dormant in the winter here in Dallas, um, you can still get a, a pretty good experience. There's a lot of good practice areas. Um, and now there's the, um, the PGA, PGA hub of America. Frisco. Yeah. yeah. Up in Frisco, indoor practice facilities. Um, you know, the senior, the champions just played their major out there. And so when you think about that, there's so much good golf. I mean, you think about the tour stops that are here with yeah. Byron Nelson um, at TPC Craig Ranch, the Colonial, Colonial, which we just spoke about. Um, it's it's all right here, right? And then yep. um, I, I don't know. I just I really understand why people are moving here. I think Tom Kim's the latest big name to center himself here in Dallas. And I think it's also culture as well. You get a yeah. lot of different cultures here in Dallas. Um, so he said there was a pretty strong Korean presence that drew him here. I see that. Um, whatever you want, Dallas is is available. It's becoming a really diverse city. Um, not as diverse as, let's say, a Houston, 
But I would right. say the, the advantage that Dallas has over Houston is that where the inter- intercontinental airport for Houston lies, it's not necessarily in the greatest location. Um, and then also you're probably going to have some stops in Dallas. Um, I know when you fly locally with even Southwest, you end up having to stop elsewhere flying yeah. out of Houston. So I, I just, I don't know. We love Dallas and I think it's, it's one of the greatest places in the U S and, and PGA dry, tour players. Dry air. say that again, dry air, dry heat. There's oh, no yeah. humidity oh. really in the, in the summer and stuff. I mean, that's a big, to me, that's a selling point in itself. If I don't have to sit here and get suffocated by a hundred percent humidity, where all the air, all the air is is killing me, I, I'm all for it, and I, I love it. I mean, but of course, I grew yeah. up in it, so it's a little bit different. But <laughs> still, but I mean, we've so we, much we've both experienced we've both experienced Houston weather and True. and the humidity that comes with that. And yeah, it's it's not just even because we grew up in it. When you experience that humidity and that stickiness. You don't. You. It's not pleasant. On, yeah, honestly. it's no so, recovering from it. Um, to be honest. And and I mean, I think you know that's why. I also, I failed to mention it earlier. So a lot of tour pros live out in Arizona. You know, same thing. It's, right. it's the summers are brutal, but it's a dry heat. It's different. Yeah. It's I don't know. Your body can can adjust to it a lot more than humidity and stickiness. And that's why honestly, Florida wouldn't be my first pick either, um, because it all also kind of has some of that stickiness um you know as you go further down to the coast and uh, right. so yeah dallas if you haven't been to dallas fort worth come Make visit your way. courses courses everywhere i mean it's it's kind of stupid how many golf courses we have both like you mentioned earlier private public semi-private it's nuts right. how much golf is available in dfw 